Uh, when I was really young and I was thinking about CERN, to me, those people were like aliens, the smartest aliens of the world. What I'm doing is looking at the structure of very small objects at the micro and nano scale level to better understand how their physical properties and their structural properties are connected. The pandemic in Vienna seems to be over. It's like a second mom. But second mom not because my first mom is Genoa. Because my first mom is my mom. <laughs> and voila! Meet this fancy jungle, which is my apartment. Oh, well, fancy. It's my second office, but you can call it living room. Yeah, this is me pretending to be healthy. And welcome to my second breakfast of the day. A lot of sweets. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm doing that, but uh, to keep myself healthy, typically I, I eat a lot for breakfast. Porridge with uh, fruit, and like a cup of coffee, of course, I'm also Italian, so... Then for dinner, salad with kiwi and oranges, strawberries, fruit, of, of course. Yeah. Told you, pistachio is my favorite flavor. <laughs> After an exam, I was used to go to eat croissant with cappuccino, or like going to Conditorai. But you know, it's not that bad. There are some bars where I really enjoyed it and also I like the fact that they are very fatty coffees, if we can say that, like with um, with cream and chocolate. You wouldn't believe what happened like 10 minutes ago. Actually, I was here in this beautiful place. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I was taking some pictures and my wallet got stolen. Jesus. So uh, actually, I was with a friend of mine, um, we, we didn't know what to do, he helped me a lot and we, we found it, a guy had it in his pocket uh, and so like my, my friend, my friend grabbed it and then we, we called the police and yeah, the police arrived but the man ran away so no way to, to catch him but guys it was so scary, can you imagine? my office yeah I mean could be maybe more tidied up but it's still my office and I like it and now I wanna show you my secret place it's public and it's just stunning this is the place where I spent my my breaks with my colleagues but also I, I spent so much time alone here to let my stress out. We scientists are eager to 
to know more about the nature, about the universe. But of course, what we are doing is not only related to this huge machine, which will hopefully be built. Uh, it's also something which might be useful, which will be useful in other fields. I really love acting. I really think you need a, a sort of talent to, to live off that. So this is something I've been doing for seven years as Obi because I was really passionate about that. And how many times also when I, when I was going to the theater, I was thinking, oh my God, I wish I, I could be so talented as that person. Actually, I would like to do both science and, and acting, but how? Very often, not sometimes, very often. Um, and it's always related to me asking myself, are you good enough? This is my internal struggle, what, what is living inside me every day, what, I, what I've been asking myself for years. And also, like before starting to work for FCC. But this is also part of the funny side of science because it's the best way to improve yourself. It might be like an easy answer, but I really admire people who can travel a lot because of their work. And I admire people who have families and they have to like move every two years, three years. And so they have to think about it also to take the family with them and it's always a matter of getting used to another lifestyle, to other people, to other cultures. This is something I definitely admire. I love you and at this time of the day. Whoa, it's dreamy. Okay, I think now I can go home happy. Around 10 p.m. I really need to, to have a walk around the city, especially this time because I know I will move out pretty soon. And this is something to establish like a kind of relationship with the city. Uh, and I really, I really created a sort of relationship with Vienna. It's, it's really, it's definitely my second home. I'm so excited and curious about changing completely my life, but also I'm so scared because it would be, it would be definitely a huge change in my life, a life challenge. I think in life it's important to, to be brave, to have courage. Facing life with courage doesn't mean that you will overcome your insecurities, but I think it will help you have some kind of growth and it will help you know yourself more and more. I honestly cannot wait to find out what kind of growth I will have through this experience.